Morning. I'm sharing with y'all today uh, one of my sons, both of them, favorite thing in the world for me to fix for them is country fried steak. So I'm heating my skillet and a little bit of oil. I'll be adding that along. So um, Teresa was very smart. She had the butcher run the uh, Artie Cube steak through the cuber one more time because I tell you, I haven't been having good luck with uh, the country fried steak being tender. It always has been in the past, but it seems like as the prices go up, the quality may go down a little bit. I don't know. So Y'all can tell me what you think. Uh, so by the time you run it through the cuber twice, it's big. So when I have big pieces like this, I will cut them in two. And you know it it stretch it helps stretch it a little bit. So I'm gonna show y'all how my mama how my mama taught me to do country fried steak. And we're gonna we're gonna salt this, and now don't get this confused with chicken fried steak, because chicken fried steak is usually made with a white gravy, and it has a crispier crust on it. Uh, that usually involves like egg whites and things like that. So Teresa has measured out all my stuff, but you know what? It's hard for me to dip down in there, so I'm just going to go with a little salt. I mean, very little, because I'm going to add my house seasoning. I just don't want to make this. I just don't want to get it too salty. So just a wee little. And then we're going to flip it over. And I'm going to add a little seasoned salt. And like I said, not, not a bunch. Darn, I can't even see if this is coming out, Eddie. Is it's it coming, coming out? Coming out. <laughs> I can't see it. We can always salt it more at the table should we want it. So I probably got, it's not a half a cup of oil in there. Maybe a third of a cup. All right. So let's see. We got to have a, a bigger bowl for our flour. I got to be able to move around. Now I do, I do add some garlic powder to, uh, my meat, and I don't know how that recipe's been in there so long, this particular recipe that I'm doing, and I can't imagine why I would have left out the garlic powder, because this just gives it a nice kick. You don't have to worry about how much you put on of this, because there's no salt. This is just garlic powder. Alrighty, I've got to make sure my oil doesn't get too hot. So, I meant to uh, add my pepper to my flour, and I was about to forget it. So, about a teaspoon. I'll run that again. I am some kind of messy with flour, aren't I, Eddie? <laughs> All right, now this is where Mama taught me to come to the sink and just sprinkle, sprinkle this with a little water, and we're going to run it through the flour one more time. 
to make sure, you know, we got a nice crust. And that water will help that flour stick to it. So says Kari Hires, my mama. Sometimes I'll I'll dampen it with buttermilk too. So water's cheaper though. <laughs> so we'll go with water. <laughs> And we're going to cook this about five, five or six minutes per side. This is so nice and thin. You know, it's not going to take long to cook because also we're going to be putting it back in a gravy. There we go. There we go. What have I got this thing on? Oh, perfect. I got it on medium high. Let's see if I can get all four pieces in there. See, I could have cut that piece in uh, half again. That's a little crowded, but that's all right. All righty, y'all. I'm fixing to take up this batch and put the other batch in. And I'm going to lay it on a little paper towel. See how nice and brown that is on both sides? Yum. And I have found over the years of me cooking, it's not good to keep flipping your steak back and forth. You know, I try to just turn mine one time and uh, that way the crust just sticks on it better for some reason. Alright, now I'm going to add some more flour and look at all that Stuff down in there. Ooh, those little bits are going to make the best brown gravy. Okie doke. So in goes our flour. We're just going to let that brown. You don't have to brown this all the way to like you would a roux if you were making you know, gumbo or something like that. All right, I want to add a little bit more salt. A little bit of pepper. And you need to be careful. You don't want this to, to scorch because I have not. You can fix most anything in a kitchen, y'all, that you've kind of mucked up on. But... I've never found a way to cook, uh, to fix scores. And as this cooks, it'll keep getting thicker and thicker and thicker. Look at that beautiful gravy, Eddie. I ain't that pretty. Oh, I forgot my onions. That's all right. I meant to saute them in with my flour, but it'll be all right. We'll just let them cook this way. Because I am going to let this do its magic. I'm going to put it on simmer and let it do its magic. It's going to be wonderful. And like I said, this will get real thick. So you just have to keep adding water to it as you need it. And I want to share something with y'all. I've shared this with y'all before. But in case there's new people that don't know about this, every bride <laughs> that's uh, making gravy for the first time, this is a gravy master. And if your gravy is not quite dark enough, you can put a drop of that in it. And it'll get you the color that you want it to be. And see, it just took a drop. And to me, it has no flavor to it. So... All right, I'm going to nestle all these. This steak feels so tender. Teresa, I'm so glad you had him run it through twice. All right, we're going to cut this on down. I don't want to kill it. Mm, 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 mm. Holy moly.
That's a fun pot of country fried steak. There. So let's find a lid. You know, uh, that's not the right lid, is it? Show sure ain't. Oh, so I've got that all the way on simmer. So at this point, you could always transfer this to uh, your slow cooker, your crock pot, and just put it on low and let it go in your crock pot. That's it. I can't wait to taste it. You know, I have so many people say, I, I, don't, I can't make gravy. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You see how simple it was. <laughs> Looks good, doesn't it? All right. I got us some biscuits ready to have with our steak. Oh my gosh, don't those look delicious? Delicious, delicious. Mm. And they taste delicious. Probably don't need that, but you got to have a little butter with your biscuit, don't you? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, this looks so good. <laughs> looks so good. Well, maybe a little bit more. <laughs> What do y'all think? Think this is good enough to eat? I believe it is. Yeah, look how tender that steak is. I was able to cut it with, with my fork. Mm. Wish my boys were here. <laughs> they would love it. So, you saw how easy that was to make. So, I hope y'all will get in the kitchen and do your family a favor and fix them up some country fried steak with gravy and maybe. This is Michael's favorite combination when I fix country fried steak. He, he wants country fried steak, rice and gravy, biscuits, and uh, garden pea salad. So good. Try it. I know you'll love it. And your family will love you for it. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.